Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. It's Justin the Germ. Today I'll be going through the We Ride Co-Pilot. This is a tandem kitty bike. It attaches the seat post. It's pretty cheap on Amazon. 75 bucks is what we spent on ours. And so hang tight. We're going to walk through it. So here it is right here. It's mounted onto my mountain bike. Uh, and this is kind of the big picture of what it looks like. It mounts onto the seat post. It has a couple little uh, pivoting points where it can pivot you know, in, in either direction. Um, and then you got the handlebars that mount right here that don't turn. They're, they're stuck firm to the frame. Uh, and then you got this piece right here that allows the bike to fold in half so it can pack up a little bit tighter. And moving on back, you have a seat. You have some pedals hooked up to the uh, hooked up to the chain that it does pedal, and it also has a, a free wheel that allows it to back pedal as well. And then coming on to the one the one wheel on this bike. So let's start at the front. The things that I've noticed with this thing. So the mount here, you see how I have this cheap rag. It's actually an old T-shirt that I uh, that I put inside of this this clamp. And it's because this clamp is only bare metal. It has a couple ridges on the inside. Uh, that we're gonna mar up my seat post and so I didn't like that so that's one one uh, thing against it here it does have this sort of wonky quick release deal here that allows it so that you don't have to take the clamp the seat post clamp off of your bike something like so where I just kind of briefly took it off uh, so you know it, it does make it handy enough that you can leave that attached to the bike uh, and then and then take off the you know the the tandem, I don't know, kitty bike. It takes maybe uh, 10 seconds to pull this thing apart. So it's not too bad on the convenience factor. Moving down the line, we've got two different 90 degree uh, hinging points. These don't allow it to hinge a whole ton. In fact, you can see one of the stops right here. It only allows it to turn maybe 30 or, or so degrees that way. And then there's kind of the same thing um, on this side, this this stop right here that doesn't allow it to turn all the way, which can be a pain in the butt. But honestly, I was able to do a, a full U-turn in a in just a, a two two-lane driveway, so that's not too bad for having this big long chain of a bike here. Now going on down the line here, we have the handlebars. Uh, the handlebars are pretty straightforward mount. You can mount these backwards even. So right now they're mounted so that they're a little bit long, but you can see if you turned this, uh, this stem, turned it around 180 degrees and then just flipped the handlebars, you could actually make this maybe fit a, a smaller kid. My, my uh, girl's five, and this is right about the right length for her as it is with the handlebars set there and the seat pretty much as low as it goes with the reflector still on but you could see if you took the reflector off you could still drop this thing another inch and a half it'd probably fit a, a three and a half year old if you wanted next on the list is there is this uh this hinging point where it's another quick release type mechanism right here where you can unlock it and then the bike folds in half so you can fit it in a trunk you don't have to fit it on the back cargo rack and when you do that, it, it really makes the bike only about three feet long, even though you know you got this from back all the way up to the front is about five feet or so. Uh, this right here limits it down to three. Now on the bottom here, you have this mud guard, which is uh, kind of nice for you know so that you don't fling mud up into the kid's face, but it's really not something you have to put on. Um, Moving on down to the line, they have regular pedals, regular crank, nothing nothing too fancy. Uh, it does have, again, the freewheel in the back. It allows you to back pedal, but the pedals do actually engage moving forward. The seat post and seat are uh, are somewhat, uh, somewhat good quality. Um, again, they have a lot of these uh, quick release, which is, which is kind of nice. They may be cheap quick releases, but it makes the convenience really, uh, you know, really good. Uh, really good convenience on these things and then this seat is pretty durable it's just made out of a durable material it's not going to tear in the weather it's not anything that's got to be overly comfortable but it's just a durable material then you have this mud guard here on the back which is somewhat adjustable but it's kind of obnoxious in that it is adjustable I kind of wish it was just one size it would have made putting it together a little bit easier 
Then come into the back. Uh, I mean, really, the only thing left here is uh, is the tire, and you can see a little bit of mud on it from when I was riding around. And this is, you know, it's a good uh, street, maybe maybe light gravelly kind of a tire. Uh, nothing nothing fancy, but it maybe makes for a little bit less resistance when rolling. Now here's maybe a couple beefs that I do have with this. So these are the tools that come with it. You got your, you know, two two different sizes of hex wrench, and you got this massive, you know, multi whatever wrench thing. It's got a billion holes in it for different sizes. You only need like two of these sizes, I think. I think it was uh, this size right there that I needed, and I think it was this one right next to it was all that I needed. So you have all these other sizes, probably because. Yeah, they make a billion of these things, and they just wanted to cover uh, cover their butts on all the sizes. But what was funny is that, you know, I mean, you have all these different sizes, but there wasn't a single screwdriver attachment. And as you can see, underneath here, there are screws that I had to take off and put all the way back on for this mudguard attachment. And then right here, this uh, this mudguard... There's also a screw attachment, um, and so it was just kind of funny that they didn't give you a cheap screwdriver, but it's not a huge deal. Most of us have screwdrivers at home. So there you have it. It's the WeRide Co-Pilot. I took my daughter for a quick ride around the block with it, but uh, here in a couple weeks I'm going to be taking her down uh, to Moab. We're just going to ride around on some of the paved trails. But, uh, but we're going to try it out and uh, maybe I'll post another short video of kind of our times down there. Um, but if you find this useful, then share it, like it, comment on it, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks. Take care. Can you look hey. at the camera? <laughs> Is that silly? Is it kind of fun? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Are you pedaling? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs>